Mount Pleasant, Michigan, a population roughly three times smaller than Lambeau Field on game day, but this is where it all started for new head coach Matt LaFleur. You go from uh, the stadium at Mount Pleasant to the stadium up north, wow. Quintessential All-American clean cut kid who uh, had, had quite a drive and a desire to be successful. You don't have to look far to see where Matt's drive and competitive spirit came from. I don't want to lose ever. That's mom. Win, damn it! That's her win, damn it doll. She throws it at the TV when things aren't going so well. That's the purpose of it. I would play cards. She'd win and I'd throw the cards. And that's dad. Combined, Denny and Christy have more than 50 years of coaching experience. So it shouldn't surprise you to learn that Matt grew up as the typical coach's kid. He was the high school quarterback and point guard. A captain who led by example throughout his high school, college, and professional careers. That's him right there. He was a coach as a player. And I think that's the best description I can give him. So when you see that and, and the Packers helmet right next to him and the front page, what goes through your mind? We all did a good job. <laughs> he had some type of mission or something in his thinking that this is what I, I want to do. You know, we followed him as a leader from that standpoint. Uh, because he just, he took the reins of the football team. There was never any question about that. Touchdown Saginaw Valley! Once he was ready to hang up his cleats, Matt didn't have to look far to start his coaching career. He stayed right here at his alma mater, Saginaw Valley State University, becoming an offensive assistant. The first step on a long road towards becoming head coach of the Green Bay Packers. Anytime you have a player that goes right into the coaching role, there's that unique transition, you know, can you still talk to him like a friend, do you have to call him coach, those simple things, but it was really natural. It wasn't like, oh, I miss playing football, he went, he just went right into that role with really no problem at all. Matt rose quickly, going from an offensive assistant at SVSU to an offensive coordinator at Ashland. That's when he got his big break, a chance with the NFL. Of course, that chance meant a pay cut of $25,000 and dropping back to the low man on the totem pole with the Houston Texans. But the gamble paid off because 10 years and six jobs later, here we are. They just moved from northern Michigan to Ashland and now they were moving to Houston. So she's moved a lot. Yeah, I think believe she said something like 11 times. This is the 11th move. I said, let's make this uh, the last one. When you hear Matt LaFleur, head coach of the Green Bay Packers, what do you think? I wish it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you. A lot of people would just love that one shot and say, I wish I was doing that. And uh, I'm an old coach. I, yeah, I would too. I'm really proud of what he's done, but more importantly, I'm, I'm proud of who he is as a person. And he's never lost focus of where you come from and who you are because that really is ultimately the most important thing. Denny and Christy were in Green Bay when Matt was introduced as the new head coach and said they were blown away by how similar the NFL's smallest market felt to Mount Pleasant and that they love that it just has that hometown Midwestern feel to it at Lambeau Field. Well, Scott, you got to spend a lot of time with the LaFleurs. What stood out about their family to you? It's just their competitive spirit. You heard a little bit of it with uh, with Christy talking about the doll, but they talked also about when they watch those games, what their habits are. And Christy, Matt's mom, says that she pretty much just walks around the entire stadium of wherever the team is playing. She just sort of paces, whereas Denny, as the old coach, he goes completely the opposite way, just goes stone silent, staring at the game, sort of game planning in his own way. And they definitely think it rubbed off on Matt. The example they gave me for just how competitive he is is that when he plays basketball with his kids he still won't let them win he won't let them get shots off and by the way his kids are five and seven years old so long way to go before they can beat dad live at the super bowl scott Karatsky, cbs 58 sports oh scott thank you